So in this video, we're going to show you how to take some text and turn it into dictated audio. So essentially, you could take um, a text file or a PDF file and turn it into an audio file. And we're going to be using a model called WaveNet developed by DeepMind, which is owned by Google. And what WaveNet tries to do is it uses a generative model to create voice synthesis that is more lifelike or harder to uh, recognize as synthetic than any other synthetic uh, vocoder out there. And they've done actual benchmarks versus other systems and, and WaveNet be, uh, wins out. And funny enough, um, I used to live in Long Beach and I was working on creating a model at the time that takes audio files and uh, estimates the tempo of the audio files. And I was at a coffee shop and I saw a young man with a hoodie that said DeepMind. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to strike a conversation with him. And I started talking with him about my problem with the model I was creating. And he turned me on to uh, WaveNet. He told me that I should look into it. And, um, and so I did. And here we are. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is download the repository that I set up for you that has the um, node scripts that we need. So a couple different ways you can do that. You can use Git or you can just download uh, from the HTTPS link. I'm going to use Git, so I'm just going to copy this URL here. I'm going to pop open a terminal, and um, let's see here. Um, let's go to... All right, so I'm on my desktop here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do git clone. And we're going to grab that repository. OK, now I'm going to navigate into the repository. So I'm going to do CD. And we can take a look. Looks good. Now let's open this up in VS Code so we can play around with it. OK, so the main file is literally this main.js file. One thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we have Node installed. I will let you take care of that. It's pretty straightforward. If you're on Linux, you can use aptitude, sudo get install node, sudo get install npm. If you're on Mac, you can download it right from the desktop. It's uh, pretty straightforward. But one thing we are going to want to do is make sure we have this package ready to go. So I'm just going to actually pop open a terminal. OK, so we're going to just make sure that we have the dependencies installed. So I'm going to do npm. install and what this does is it just goes into package.json and makes sure that the prerequisite dependencies are installed so that should have essentially just downloaded this npm package and then the other aspect here is when we execute this file it's going to communicate with the um, text-to-speech api it needs to do that on behalf of a user and so typically how you run these scripts is you use uh, the cloud SDK, which is called gcloud. But um, I wanted to kind of expedite the process for you and, and circumvent that. So for this tutorial, you actually don't have to download gcloud. What we'll do is we'll download a service account, and then we'll just reference that service account, and that should be sufficient for um, authentication. So to get a service account, let's go over to... Google Cloud Platform. We're going to go to Service Accounts, and then we're going to do Create New Service Account. We can call this WaveNet Tutorial. And then the key thing here is we need to give it the proper role. And just generally speaking, you want to provide just enough access for the service account to do what it needs to do, because if the key becomes compromised, uh, we don't want users to be able to go around and do nefarious things on our account uh, because they're you know a super user or owner or something like that. So what we're looking for is something called service account, service account user, and that should be good. Okay, service account, service account user. All right, that should be sufficient. All right, so now we have this guy here, WaveNet tutorial. Um, so that's just the service account on the server side, but we need to download some credentials that we can use. So we're going to go to manage keys. 
we're going to do add or create new key. We want type JSON. Let's call this WaveNet service account, and we will save that um, on our desktop. So I created a script that does all the heavy lifting. I will uh, run you through it right now, and then we will uh, run a demo. So let me just open up that file here. So WaveNet text-to-speech example. I'm going to open up the entire directory in uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, it's pretty concise in terms of the actual coding. So basically the way it works is WaveNet has a node package uh, that's at Google Cloud text-to-speech that does the um, data transmission between your local computer and the uh, WaveNet API. All you'd kind of need to do is you have to take the text that you want to uh, turn into audio and you have to chunk it. You can only send uh, a certain number of characters to uh, the WaveNet model. So what we do uh, in this script is we have a file called text.txt, which is going to be our actual transcript that we want to turn into audio. And so that file is right here. And this script, when we run it, is going to pull that into memory, but it's going to um, split it into sentences. And the reason we want to do that is because, again, we don't want to send over a chunk that's too big for the WaveNet model. So we split it into sentences, and then we iterate over that array, sending appropriate size chunks to the WaveNet model. Part of the payload that we want to send to WaveNet is defining uh, the gender, the language. There are different WaveNet variants, uh, and then also things like pitch and the speech rate and that sort of thing. And then we send it over to the voice synthesis model, and it will write a file kind of in a chronological sequence. Uh, so we end up with a nice um, sequenced list of MP3 files, and then the, term the script will just terminate when it's done. So we can turn a long piece of text into an audio file. So let's go grab some dummy text that we want to transcribe here. So there is a speech I like by investor Charlie Munger called The Psychology of Human Misjudgment. This is something I wanted to put on my phone that I could like listen to periodically because I think it's just very rich in uh, wisdom. So I'm just copying the text here. Let's see. So it's quite a bit here, and it really doesn't matter how much there is because we'll be batching our requests. So I'm copying that text. I'm going to come back over to uh, VS Code, and let's remove that. Let's apply that. I'm going to do Command S to save it. And now um, I've just opened a terminal at the bottom of my VS Code here. If we want to execute our script here and take this text and turn it into a bunch of audio files, dictated audio files, there's a command, a special command, that is in the readme that we can use. So um, I have a terminal here. I'm going to paste this command, but we need to, we need to uh, make sure that the proper path to that service account that we just downloaded is in use. So let's go back to my desktop real quick. WaveNet service account dot JSON. WaveNet service account dot JSON. And then, so basically it's setting an environmental variable that's going to tell this package um, what uh, the Surface account credentials are. And, um, and then that will allow us to bypass having to download uh, G Cloud. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. So this is the first chunk of text that it's going to try to translate or transpose. Okay, and then it just wrote the first file here. And it's just going to keep doing this for every, um, I think it's 5,000 character chunk of text until the file is complete. Okay, so we can see the first file 
was just written and it will be indexed. So if we were to pull this all into like iTunes or something, it will kind of treat it uh, sequentially, which is nice. Okay, so it looks like the script is finished and we can see our audio output here. So let's go ahead and play some of these. I have long been very interested in standard thinking errors. However, I was educated in an era wherein the contributions of non-patient treating psychology to an understanding of misjudgment met little approval from members of the mainstream elite. Instead, interest in psychology was pretty well confined to a group of professors who talked and published mostly for themselves, with much natural detriment from isolation and groupthink. And so, right after my time at Caltech and Harvard Law School, I possessed a vast ignorance of psychology. Those institutions failed to require knowledge of the subject. And, of course, they couldn't integrate psychology with their other subject matter when they didn't know psychology. Also, like the Nietzsche character who was proud of his lame leg, the institutions were proud of their willful avoidance of fuzzy psychology and fuzzy psychology professors. So you can see it sounds really natural. And that's kind of what's so groundbreaking about WaveNet. You know, WaveNet utilizes something called a generative model. And in machine learning, a generative model is a model that creates new information. So a style transfer model is an example of a generative model. It takes a, a content image, it takes a style image, and creates a new piece of information pointed at estimating what would this content look like if it was rendered with this style? And we're doing the same thing with WaveNet. The content is the text that we're providing. The style is the you know thousands of audio files that the, the model has learned from of people dictating texts. And what's cool about WaveNet doing this via a neural net as opposed to uh, algorithmically is WaveNet can pick up on the subtleties of human dialect that cannot be programmed. So for instance, like when people orate, they breathe, they have to breathe. That's part of staying alive. And, um, you know, various intonations on certain things and pauses and these very minor subtle things, a deep learning model can pick up on that stuff. And it just makes for a more lifelike rendering of that dictation. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for this. I will throw the code up on GitHub. Uh, feel free to check it out. Thanks. As always, guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and click that like button. And thanks for listening.